Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Food for Thought, where we talk to small business owners and entrepreneurs about things that hopefully can help them grow their business. This is Rich Austin talking to you from Rhode Island, where I'm patiently waiting for spring. But uh, enough of that. This week, our subject is some of the best things you can do for your small business. Now, this is the beginning of April, and you have almost a month to prepare for Small Business Month, which is in May. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, there are 10 things every small business should do if they want to grow. Now, I'm not going to call, cover all 10 of them, but I picked some that I think are important, especially for entrepreneurs and the smaller business folks. So the first suggestion that they have is one, develop core growth strategies. Now on a day-to-day -day basis, most small business owners like myself, we're too busy to think about anything other than the task at hand and getting prepared for the next task. However, we need to carve out some time to identify at least one strategy to work on and create an achievable short-term goal. Then we need to determine the financial and time resources that we need and set aside daily, weekly, and perhaps even monthly goals. And if you're serious, find an accountability partner, somebody who will keep your nose to the grindstone, set up a weekly review, and stick to it. Another thing that the Chamber suggests, that if you want to grow your business, is to amplify your brand on social media. Now, we all know how important it is, but we tend to, de to deprioritize it too often. We let everything else get in the way. We need to examine our existing strategy, if we have one, and pick at least one channel to focus on over the next month. It can take as little as 15 minutes a day, or you can create several posts at once and schedule them out over several days. Then at the end of the month, assess your metrics. Another thing you can do is upskill yourself. Business growth depends on professional development. If you don't know at least as much as your competition, you'll fall behind in no time. If you know more than them, you'll eventually pull ahead. Another thing, outsource non-core tasks. Too often, small business owners find themselves doing it all, changing hats every day, even if they don't fit. By farming out those non-core tasks, you can focus on what you do best and what brings in more clients and more profits. However, be sure to have a, a solid plan as to how you can best use this extra time. Because without that, you'll find yourself just doubling down on what you haven't assigned to someone else and paying out hard-earned resources for little to no gains. Now, I like this one. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce tells us that we should delight and engage existing customers. Now, do whatever you can to reach out to them and let them know you're thinking about them. Offer them something free or a discount or even an article you think that they would find interesting. There are always ways to let them know that you appreciate their business. And if they're small business people themselves, give them a referral. That always seals the deal. Small Business Month is a great time to take a look at your website. Update what needs to be refreshed. Delete whatever is outdated. If need be, give it a new look. Make sure it's user-friendly. And finally, boost your marketing efforts. Start a newsletter, a regular blog, or whatever would work best to connect with your target audience. Grow your contact list by joining appropriate groups on LinkedIn, Facebook, or whatever your chosen platform may have. And if you're not sure how to do this, or you don't have the time, hire someone to do it for you. Give it six months or so, because it takes time, and then reassess. 
There are a few other strategies, but I think these are the ones that work best for small businesses. And it can be done without spending a lot of money. So when May 1st and Small Business Month comes around, you should be ready to write the next chapter in your business success story. Gail Sheeney, American author and journalist, said, Growth demands a temporary surrender of security. I mentioned that in a couple of meetings this week, and it got some very thoughtful looks from uh, people in the group. We all crave security, but if we want to get ahead, we might have to step out of our comfort zone. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to further discuss anything regarding this topic or any small business strategy, reach out to me at rich at speakingofsuccess.us. I'd love to talk. Send me an email and we'll set up some time to get together. Thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Bye, everyone.